Welcome to the fifth time. This video is brought to you in partnership with Gaia.com, creating thought-provoking documentaries and programs. In 2016, astronomer Tabitha Boyajian announced a strange discovery after observing the unusual behavior of a star 1400 light-years from Earth, a star within the constellation of Cygnus. The star known as KIC 8462852, or Tabby's star, exhibited anomalous fluctuations in its brightness as seen from Earth. Typically, a star's brightness as viewed from Earth will fluctuate as orbiting planets transit in front of the star. Other variations result from pulsations in the stellar atmosphere. Planets orbiting a star generally produce a decrease in light in the order of 1%. Astonishingly, the dips in light from Tabby's star showed a decrease in brightness by 22%. Amongst the 100,000 stars that was dipping its light, or flux as they call it, periodically. Now this is something which happens if a planet moves in front of a star. You get a very slight dip in the amount of light that's reaching us. In this case, the dips were anything up to 22%. Now if I can put this into perspective, if, let's say, Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, crosses in front of the Sun, if you were looking at it from afar, it would dip the light only about 1%. So something that was dipping the light anything up to 22% is going to be huge, massive. Something that is totally different, something that we've not encountered before in astronomy. So what was going on? As scientists reviewed the shadow of the anomalous object passing in front of Tabby's star, some put forward a hypothesis that the object gave some indications of being an artificial megastructure, engineered by some advanced alien civilization. Unusually, the hypothesis appeared in conversation among mainstream astronomers and was reported on mainstream media. The idea was put forward that the anomalous structure may be a Dyson sphere. Freeman Dyson, Professor Emeritus at Princeton, is a revered theoretical physicist and mathematician known for his work in quantum electrodynamics, solid-state physics, astronomy, and nuclear engineering. Dyson built on the work of Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev, who correlated the level of a civilization's technological advancement with its consumption of energy. Dyson proposed that any planetary civilization would at some point exhaust the natural energy resources of its planet. It would then need to engineer mechanisms to derive energy directly from the planet's star. A Dyson sphere is the name coined to describe a structure artificially engineered to orbit a star and harvest its energy. Freeman Dyson proposed that if we are to find advanced civilizations in our galaxy, we might do well to look for signs of artificial structures such as the hypothesized Dyson spheres. Others have suggested that the anomalous fluctuations in the light emanating from Tabby's star could be the effect of a swarm of comets or fragments from a shattered planet, both of which would set significant clouds of dust and debris in orbit around the star. Perhaps these could be the cause of the star's fluctuating signal. As yet, the cause of the anomaly remains a live question. The BBC have shown for the first time a documentary not just about this star but the fact that it almost certainly has an ET vessel uh, alien megastructure around it we're not just talking about bacteria 
we are talking about advanced civilizations, thousands of years more advanced than us down here on Earth. The question comes is that if there really is a structure around this star, how does it affect us down here? I mean, is it possible that these aliens have been in touch with us in, in some way uh, in the recent past or perhaps even in the distant past? And the question comes down to communication. The star is approximately 1,300 light years from our solar system, which means that when we're looking towards it, anything we see happened 1,300 years ago. So that's around 700 AD. You know, the, the Maya civilization was still in full flight. When they look at us, of course, they are also looking at that same time frame, around 700 AD. Investigative reporter Linda Moulton Howe from EarthFiles.com and star of the History Channel's Ancient Aliens TV series also hosts the popular show Truth Hunter, featured on Gaia TV. Her theory accords with ancient mythologies and historical data, proposing that the Mayan civilization may have been the product of a hybridization program initiated on Earth and then relocated off planet. Curiously, the time frame of the Maya narrative relates to data concerning the Tabby Star. Could we be seeing a signal from an ancient civilization once from Earth attempting to reconnect? I will be sought out by some people who have worked for the CIA, NSA, DIA. There was a man who had said that he had worked for the Central Intelligence Agency and he said that was the Mayan civilization created in a hybridized program that there was a collaboration teaching that all of the mathematical skills from uh, history then in 850 AD. It wasn't drought. It wasn't human war. This man said to me, for reasons unknown, the Ebens came in 850 AD and they took the majority of their hybridized Mayans in a large craft and left Earth. Could the Mayan disappearance and the Tabby Star anomaly be linked? Or might there be a more ancient connection? An ancient connection that some believe may be encoded in the mathematical structures of our own planet. Those astronomers they also said that these dips in the light would also be used to broadcast information. Whether this information be binary, whether it be prime numbers, or some other form of attention-seeking information, which a, a species like ourselves, humanity, could recognize as intelligent, as universal information. The work that I'm carrying out suggests that there is intelligence in the broadcasts and that it may well be that it is giving us not just prime numbers or binary, but very specific mathematical formula. What I have determined is that there are certain cycles associated with the Kepler data. They are all interlinked and they all reflect certain key numbers. All of them are multiples of 11. Now, this may be just a very simple piece of information, but what's so interesting is that we find that this is associated with the most complex mathematical formula that we have down here on Earth. For instance, Pascal's triangle is made up of multiples of 11. It's like a pyramid of numbers, the first number being one, the second number being 11, the third number being 121, the fourth number being 1331, 11 squared, 11 cubed, etc, etc. These are exactly the same numbers that are being broadcast from the KIC star right at this moment. This is where it gets weird, because 
The Great Pyramid is obviously one of the greatest enigmas of the ancient world. Certain researchers, certain colleagues, have found within it certain key numbers that keep cropping up again and again. And that, those numbers are the exact numbers that are being broadcast by this star, KIC 8462852. Is this a coincidence? The Great Pyramid and its two neighbours are aligned to exactly the same constellation as where this star is, which is Cygnus. Did the ancient Egyptians know about this broadcast to the Earth? Might the pyramids serve as receiving devices just waiting to be activated? Could this signal actually be a message sent for humanity? Or is the mathematical connection no more than coincidence? Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching The Fifth Kind. This video is in association with Gaia.com, creating thought provoking documentaries and programs. To see more from the Gaia series Ancient Civilizations and for unlimited access to thousands of educational works and documentaries, please click the links and receive your exclusive full access price for only 99 cents.